Hello everyone, I am Soji Kumar. Welcome to my channel. Today's in this video, I will discuss about uh, the BSc first semester geology paper. It is uh, non coordinates. So from today, I will give uh, the units uh, topic the unit 1 2 of the first semester also second semester uh, in between this uh, i will also give uh, some of the practical videos which is also helpful to you to you all so today's from today i will uh, start uh, the paper about uh, this uh, bsc paper some of the topic I will discuss with you all. So let's start today's uh, video without wasting any time. So you can see that uh, in my screen that paper title is a non data from protist to pseudo silomates it is the name of the paper and under this uh, we will discuss uh, first unit uh, i only given the unit not including unit one or two so i am mentioning only unit so in this unit i will discuss uh, about uh, protista protozoa and metazoa so, from today I will discuss about uh, this topic only, this unit uh, protist, protozoa, metazoa. So, today's uh, video is on general characteristics. The first character of this uh, new nature of this uh, protist protozoa metazoa that uh, you can see that first point is uh, they are small usually microscopic organisms they are small usually microscopic organism is they are very small and we cannot uh, see in our naked eyes we will to see them we will use a microscope then only we can observe the organisms so the example of this uh, is a micromonas you can see the picture in the left uh, this is drawn picture with colorful and uh, in the right side is the original picture just taken in a microscope under microscope this is a micromonas micromonas the algae now second character is that uh, they are simplest very simple not any uh, complex uh, not very uh, only simplest fully simple no any mixture not any face um, complex to so uh, to observe uh, uh, they, they live the simplest they are very simple and most primitive animals uh, most primitive animals means that uh, they are present uh, from the origin of art uh, the most primitive from the ancient time most primitive meaning of that they are present from the ancient period when the art was uh, origin after that uh, many processes are there uh, then only from that time these uh, organisms are present having cellular level of organization cellular level they only have cells uh, not any kind of tissue or organ they simply as i have said that they are simplest and most primitive and primitive type organism there and having only simplest uh, this uh, cellular level of organization only cells are present not any tissues or organs cellular C means cells 
Now third point is that uh, body unicellular body unicellular and single cell perform all the necessary function body is unicellular means only one type of cell is present not any other kind many like uh, human beings we are multicellular many uh, cells are present and they have their own works in the body but uh, these organisms are unicellular the body the whole body is made for only one type of cell not any kind of uh, one or two or three type of cell only one kind of cell they are unicellular and single cell perform all the necessary function that means uh, as the unicellular so the that only that cell will this only one cell will perform all the function functions like uh, this uh, feeding respiration uh, or you can say excretion of the waste materials uh, all the things will be per performed by only one type of cell if you compare it with the humans or any other eukaryotes like they have many cells uh, that uh, for respiration they have another nose uh, uh, for for feeding they have mouth uh, for means stoma there means another means many many cells are present and they have their particular work one cells do not uh, perform all the function in eukaryotes but they are but in this uh, only one cell perform all the necessary functions feeding respiration at a cell for example you can see the amoeba amoeba is the only single cell perform all you can see feeding they perform only one cell is performing that feeding also the ex, uh, this um, excreting the waste material so you can so example is amoeba now fourth point is the you can see the body is bounded by plasma membrane you can see the plasma membrane in my left in your left skin you can see there's a plasma membrane the, the boundary the wall is formed by plasma membrane and uh, you can uh, you can know plasma membrane but I will not many really explain you. this is simply membrane now fifth point the body shape is variable that is oval elongated flat etc they do not have a fixed uh, shape of their body always changing someone oval someone circle someone elongated someone flat they do not have a fixed shape of their body you can see the some of this uh, this smile molds uh, the shape of this uh, you can see like a kidney shape this amoeba amoeba does not have any kind of shape the fully irregular in shape the euglena euglena elongated in shape sometimes it becomes also in a uh, when they are moving time when they move those uh, the body will compress and they become more circular again when they move forward again it uh, elongate they do not have a fixed shape always changing in uh, changing now number six that the character is that uh, locomotory organs uh, like cilia pseudopodia they have this locomotive organs like uh, cilia pseudopodia pseudopodia you can take an example amoeba amoeba you can see in my skin that uh, amoeba the in the uh, left you can see, you can see that that is the pseudopods or pseudopodia we, uh, with the uh, help of this uh, they can move forward or you can say backward pseudopodia cilia uh, you can uh, cilia are also having some organisms cilia also uh, used for their locomotory or uh, locomotory organs so you, for this I have given pseudopod, uh, pseudopodia I have given the example this amoeba now seventh res is the respiration and excretion through general surface 
as I have said uh, before that uh, they are unicellular and a single cell perform all the functions so in that the respiration excretion feeding all will perform only one type of cell only one cell so respiration and excretion through general surface means excretion also takes uh, takes place through the surface of this uh, one type of cell means surface general surface and the respiration also that you can um, see the example also at this amoeba this uh, feeding you can see feeding from this surface feeding you can see feeding general surface and excretion of that help of the general surface and respiration also general surface to the general surface because they, they have only one type of cell not like uh, the higher animals uh, they have nose for their respiration they have a mouth for their feeding and uh, many organs uh, many cells are present for their particular functions but uh, in the in this case uh, they have only the general surface for respiration excretion feeding all the, done by general surface only they may be autotropic or heterotropic in nature autotropic means uh, they produce their own food with the help of sunlight you can know that uh, photosynthesis required the autotropic means they make their own food with the help of the sunlight they do not depend on other and now uh, sometimes they also can be heterotopic means depend on other organism for their food so they can be autotropic also in nature and heterotopic also in nature autotropic means they produce uh, their own food and heterotropic means uh, they depends on other they depends on other for their food Now number 9 is uh, reproduction is uh, asexual by binary or multiple fissions and sexually by conjugation. They reproduce, uh, if they reproduce asexually then they will be uh, done by binary fission or multiple fission. If they perform asexual reproduction then they will binary or multiple fission if they reproduce sexually then they process is conjugation you can see the diagram it is a paramecium stage showing binary fission there is a binary fission first you can see this is the paramecium this part is the macronucleus this uh, bigger one macronucleus I will zoom it and this small dot that is micronucleus now in second stage uh, this macronucleus divide amniotically divide amniotically means they will go up or divide from the middle as the macronucleus divide as well as uh, at that time uh, this uh, micronucleus also divide uh, mitotically and the oral groups uh, you can see they will disappear slowly when they start dividing because uh, macronucleus and micronucleus both are important for their survival so if they reproduce both of them to be separate then only they can reproduce in this process is binary fission in a third step you can see the new groups oral groups will be forming in a opposite side in a downward in this pore and in this opposite side uh, and also the macro and micronucleus will elongate to separate uh, from the middle 
the constriction takes place uh, be, uh, when uh, the separation uh, will occur the upper portion and the middle and the down portion will be come bigger and the middle portion constrict means uh, it become constricted and in the uh, fourth stage uh, fully this uh, macronucleus and micronucleus will be separated both the site uh, and uh, new daughter paramecium will be developed this is the paramecium stage uh, showing a binary fission not so very tough binary fission it is i mean only giving the one example of that uh, binary fission uh, this uh, asexual uh, fission uh, asexual uh, uh, example of this uh, organism that uh, binary fission in uh, next video i will discuss about their life cycles in that time you will be familiar with uh, so multiple fission binary fission uh, uh, because uh, the organism perform as i said that they perform if they perform asexual reproduction they will uh, undergo the process binary or multiple fission and if they undergo sexual reproduction then they will perform the process uh, conjugation that time uh, in a uh, in my next video you will understand it properly more properly that which organism goes sexually or asexually if they go sexually what is the process how they uh, produce uh, by conjugation if they go asexually the how they uh, produce uh, uh, how they undergo the process binary and, f and multiple fusions so in this only i will in this genetic category, i will only I have only said that uh, this small ex um, example how it occurs. So in uh, next video you can understand both properly. So thank you. If you like my video, so give a like, comment, and share with your friends. Uh,